Today I'm going to show you how to do a full hive inspection. Hello, I'm Griffiths. Welcome to Green and Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today it's pretty much the well into the beginning of the summer season. Spring has come really, really early. It's just a couple of weeks, boom, that's gone, and the hives are up for big numbers, and it's time for us to start our weekly inspections to make sure they don't swarm. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I inspect a colony mid-season, so you can do that as well. Let's get into it. Right there, so this is a hive I'm gonna inspect from memory. I think these are Welsh black bees in here, and you'll see how black these bees are. And not anticipating a lot of honey here, these Welsh black bees, they are slower starters than the Buckfast or the type strain bee, but they're a very hardy bee and a lot of people really like them. So, veil on, let's get into it. Take the roof off and straight away. These bees are up in my face. They're just uh, a Welsh black bee, they're a lot more angry, defensive, pretty much like all Welsh people, myself included. Only joking. Bit of smoke on these now, these will cool down. But this is what you're dealing with when you're dealing with the native uh, black bee or the European black bee is what they're actually called. They are a bit more aggressive, got a bit, use a little bit more smoke. But if this was a buck, buck fast hive now, I'd have popped the roof off. Nothing would be up in my face. They'd just be very, very quiet. But uh, this is what we've got to deal with with the native bee. Bit of smoke on these and these will soon cool down. So hardly any honey in the first super. Some of the buck fast have already filled one super. These Welsh blacks a little bit behind. So always shake that queen excluder over the hive. So if the queen is on the underside, she'll fall back into the brood box. So we're going to start on one side, then work our way through. End frame, they haven't filled that still foundation. This was a nuke that I made last year. Just got some honey there for the stores. The one advantage about a Welsh black bee or the European black bee is they go through winter on very low numbers so they don't consume that much feed. Where a buck fast or similar type bee they will eat a lot of feed in the winter and you've got to monitor that regularly. Where if your Welsh black bees go into winter heavy, they're going to come out heavy as well. That's why they're so adaptable and used to the climate here in Britain. So that's a perfect example of how they come out of winter. Honey right around and right in the middle there now, they're storing the pollen. Straight away, these are not that bothered about expanding, they just want to make sure they've got the resources in the hive. Again, another frame full of pollen with honey on the edge. They're not interested in laying these frames up at all, they just want to get some stores in, and that's very, very typical of them. So, until you start seeing some brood. You can be go really quick through the frames because the queen is not going to be on a frame where there's no brood or no eggs. Once you go into some brood, we're going to slow down and I'll show you what I do. Right, so we've got some brood here now. Some drone brood there in the middle, which they've turned those cells into drone. More honey on the outside frame, and you can see how they've shrunk the frame down the side. So I'll just Check. Always when you check in for the queen, have the frame over the hive. So if she does fall out, she falls back into the box, not off. I've seen people walk away with the frame, holding it up. If she falls off, she's on the ground, she's dead. So keep your frames over the box. Really, really useful tip. 
So they just started laying this up by the looks of it. They just started filling the middle up there. Queen's not there. And straight away, if I was in a rush now, I'd stop the inspection now and I'd close this hive back up because I could see straight away these bees are not wanting to swarm. Their numbers are nowhere, anywhere near swarming. So unless you're checking for disease or just generally how this hive is doing, you close this up. And I went to a better frame of brood here now. All that there is brood in the middle, honey and pollen. They're making sure that every frame has got pollen and honey. And that's just very, very typical of these bees. And that's why they do so well in Britain, really, because if the weather turns tomorrow, we go into snow, these bees have made sure that they've got enough stores already. Uh, like the preppers you see on TV, you know, the, the people that's saving uh, storing supplies to the end of the world. Well, the Welsh black bee is a very much similar type of breed as that. They're never caught out needing feed in the season or the winter, really. They're very, very adaptable to the weather here. They've seen snow in May, snow in April. They've seen long, long winters. These bees have been bred to survive here. But they've not been bred to produce huge amounts of honey compared to the Buckfast. Another beautiful frame. Solid brood, no queen cells. Honey on the outside, pollen around it. Notice how I'm working the frame. That's my motion, always above the brood box. So all you gotta do is in the wrists and the fingers. Very, very fast on the frame. And that's another downside. Finding a queen can be a bit more challenging because it's so fast on the frame that you can't pick it out. And we're down to honey frames again then. And they're starting to fill that up with pollen. So these bees not in a rush to expand at all. Slowly back, like we say in Welsh. And then the first frame I pulled out from that end, I'm gonna put back in on the end here. And that's it. That's the kind of inspections I do this time of year. We're looking for queen cells mainly. We don't want the bees to swarm under any circumstances. That's our job really now, until the end of summer, stop the bees from swarming. And just check for disease. I could see everything was quite healthy there. All the brood pattern was good. There's plenty of stores, plenty of pollen. The bees are looking really good. So this hive is good. So now that I've seen this hive today, I know they're not gonna swarm for, I'd say, say four weeks. I won't inspect these bees now for three weeks just because I know these are not going to swarm. There's no risk of swarming. I'm just wasting my time coming back here for the next three weeks just to check on progress because I can see all the information now. There are only one, two, three, four, maybe five frames of brood. There's just no way they're going to swarm. In about four weeks' time, the numbers are going to be probably twice what they are now and then we're risking swarming territory with this hive. So on another video, I'll inspect a uh, Buckfast hive and I'll show you the difference between how far they will lay a frame on this time of year. And at the minute, we're at the start of May and uh, this is just very, very typical of a Welsh black bee at the start of spring, not very big. But there's a little bit less work to them as well, you know. I don't have to worry about these swarming now where some of my Buckfast, if they go, too big and I'm not quick enough putting supers on them, then uh, they might want to swarm. Then, then pretty, normally pretty good, but you force any bee where they haven't got enough space, they're going to want to go. It's their survival instinct or natural instinct really. Well, that's the end of the inspection. I'm going to close this hive back up now. Put the queen this little back on top. And just a single brood uh, super on this. They're not going to need a second today. That's just going to give them too much space, too much space to keep warm. Clown board back on. 
If I just bring that down for you to see how black these bees are, some people will be really jealous of how black these bees are. Look at the colour of them. That is as black as they come. That is a proper native bee. Don't want to crush those bees on the top, give them a bit of smoke, get them out of the way. And that's it. That's how I do my inspections at this time of year now. Mainly looking for queen cells, but also checking for disease as well. Now you don't have to check for disease every time you inspect the hive, but as long as you're aware of it, and at least once or twice a year you go through a deep, full inspection where you check every single comb of brood, every cell of brood, make that do that once or twice a year to keep on top of your disease levels, you should be fine. But just be, just be wary of it if you see a sunken cap or you know you don't think that larva is coming on right, she's looking a bit melted, then take a sample or seek extra advice. But um, that's it. You're not long doing these inspections this time of year. It's later on in the summer when the bees are absolutely massive and you've got about six plus supers on, that's when the big work comes in. Well, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video every week. Thanks for watching.